through, through my list here of, of rankings, um, a couple of different names up top. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, I kind of broke it up into tiers, like the top tier being teams who have a good win and hasn't had a whole lot of struggles. Now, with Ohio State up there, that kind of depends on how you think of Notre Dame. I still think that that's a really good win. Um, and the next tier, Michigan, Oregon, Penn State, Washington. You don't have a good win, but you also haven't struggled a whole lot. And then the final tier, um, you uh, don't have a good win, and you've had some struggles, like Florida I just, State. I, I just hate your top two. I'm just going to say I hate that. It, it feels weird, but I, <laughs> I feel good about what, it. I mean, What about Ohio State? Playing like dog shit against Maryland made you want to move them up to two. They beat them by like three and a half touchdown. They beat them by what? what? Beat them like by three and a half touchdowns or something. They didn't. Wasn't Maryland's it by pretty ten? No, at, at it was really close for like one half, and then Ohio State ended up pulling away. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think it ended up being like forty-seven to twenty was, or something. Yeah, like it wasn't that. a close game. Certainly wouldn't put it as the as a struggle. I mean, terrible for comfort, in my opinion, to start the game. Wow. Yeah, but then, you know, good yeah. teams, you know, pull out late. Unlike me. Um, <laughs> it, it, never, it feels weird. Pull. I'm not, <laughs> I, but I'm not to huge be fair, on Ohio State, but that, that Notre Dame win, to me, is a better win than Michigan, Oregon, Washington, Penn State, Georgia, USC, Florida State, or North Carolina have. So that's kind of my whole thought process there. <sighs> Well, then Louisville should be in your top 10 by that <laughs> that logic. You're not wrong. Yeah, I probably, yeah, with that logic. That was um, a miss by Brandon, I guess. Is Louisville, they don't have a loss, do they? They do not. No. They are 6-0. and Were they on my list? They weren't even on my list here. I have a separate tier for losers like Texas and Alabama, but they didn't make the cut. Yeah, what, yeah that, mm-hmm. uh, it's a miss. I should have put them in instead of, uh, instead of North Carolina for sure. It's Jack Plummer, right? Their quarterback for yeah. Louisville? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I still don't know if he's related to um, Jake Plummer. Like the snake. But I hope he is. It feels too strange to not be it, to just be a coincidence. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jack, I know you're a big time Cornhusker pod guy. So, yeah. so you, wanna, you, you just want to send us a tweet. Yeah. Tell us if you're, it's like your dad or something. That'd be sick. I, I hate that we revealed three friends of the program already this episode. That's <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to stay under wraps. I like well, their anonymity. Yeah. You just got to drop some names sometimes. Absolutely. And I mean, we got to use all the Jack Plummer clout while, while we can. And that's a big win <laughs> against Notre Dame. I mean, an 11 win. Oh, Jack he's Plummer. from Dubuque, Iowa. Oh. Born. I didn't know that. Shout out. I knew there was something wrong with it. What in the world? Hmm. Uh, and then he moved to he moved to Arizona. Okay. He's the brother of Arizona quarterback Will Plummer. Okay. okay. I don't sure. see anything about Jake. I'm. Weird. I'm biased, but I think my top ten is better than better everything than I see everything. here personally. But what is it? I can I can run the list down. So one to ten, I have Georgia, Michigan, Oklahoma, Washington, Florida State, Penn State, USC, Oregon, Ohio State, and Texas. Incorrect. That's a solid top ten. You watch your mouth. All right, Florida State number one. That's crazy. Florida State is not better than Michigan. They're the best I team. Believe that. No, they're the best not. team. They're good. They're my. They're they. They. Hey, they're outside looking in for the college football playoffs. That's where I have them. At. Absolutely not. Undefeated ACC champions team will absolutely be in the college football playoff. I mean, they I have been running through opponents. I'm not gonna lie. Even though I, I hear really, that Boston College game is actually kind of close. Really ran through Boston College. Mm-hmm. Really ran through uh, Clemson with an accountant shoot. for a kicker. You know, I didn't bro. say it. Shoot. I'm oh, really, 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 really happy for them. You. Oklahoma really ran through Texas. Well, I mean, they beat Texas, which is a good team, yeah, which is more than bad. Florida State has also beat teams. everybody they played, and they beat LSU by three touchdowns. So LSU stinks. Well, yeah. Brian so Kelly's their coach. I just told you this. Brian Kelly fucking yeah, remember stinks. that part. Excuse my language. They can only I do just, what's like, put in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe when they join right. a real conference. It's just day, so – I'll never benefit. understand why you decided – this is the hill that you want to defend, Brooke. 
because they're going to win it all. Yeah, I mean, it's it, in Brooks' defense, it's a good hill to die on. I mean, they're not going to lose another game this year. But just the state of Florida sucks. So why? I mean, there's just no way. Crazy. They're super racist, super hateful. <laughs> to our indigenous people. If, if you guys were picking out like, all Georgia <laughs> and Michigan to hills to die on, that would be one thing. But like Brandon all of a sudden with Oklahoma and Ohio State, who I don't think either one of them are getting in the playoff. But I go. agree. I agree with Brandon's list because he. I think he did it the same way I've been doing it. What have you done for me lately? Uh, right. This isn't like easiest pass the playoff. I mean, then, yeah, Florida State would be number one. For sure, Georgia, Michigan would all be in the top three. Actually, if it was the easiest path to the playoff, it would be Michigan and Georgia. No, Florida State has a way easier path than either of those teams. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, they, they, Michigan um, Georgia still plays play anyone until like week eight. Florida State doesn't play another ranked team this entire season until the ACC championship game, and even That's, then, they, they might play not be one ranked. less than Michigan, and Michigan gets like two months to prepare for it. Yeah, but like their ranked team that they have to play is A, Penn State, who's going to be in the top 10, and yeah. B, Ohio State, who's going to be in the top five. A fraudulent Ohio State, who they're going to beat by probably three touchdowns again. Well, I, so, yeah, no, I, 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 I agree with that. Yeah, I I don't disagree, but that's still a harder Penn thing State to do than. Be fraudulent too. They have a freshman quarterback and they haven't played Dick either. Yeah, I mean, we'll see, but those are still harder it opponents than just Georgia. Just around Tech. fraudulent. Well, people start looking into him, and then he just starts throwing fingers. Ooh, what about you? What about you? What about you? <laughs> yeah. What about you? Huh? No, what about you? What are you hiding? No, what are you hiding? I asked you first. I'm not hiding anything. All my chips are on the table with Florida State, you scumbag. All right. All right. That was a little harsh. I take that. Back. No, 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 no. Can't take it back. But I want it on the record. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, that was that was on me. Well, and I'm not trying to mean person. Yeah, oh. and I don't want to take <laughs> yeah, anything. That was, away. That was, that was mean. <laughs> and I don't want to take anything away from Florida State. I mean, their schedule is front heavy. They, they're I two do. toughest teams that they scheduled. Well, in theory, it was front loaded with LSU, Clemson. Turns out both those two teams stink. That's not Florida State's fault. It's not their mm-hmm. fault that Florida stinks. It is bad. But I it just. Is just it's just crazy. All you can do that's is not a crazy have. easy. Thing. I have way more respect for Florida State because obviously the ACC fucked up not giving them Miami or North Carolina. Did they dodge all three? They might play Louisville. Uh, well, they play Miami. Oh, that's who they play. Okay, yeah. Ooh, but they might not be ranked Ooh. because guess who plays Miami this week? Drake May and the Tar Heels, baby. That's gonna be a good game, but. Yes. Well, probably FSU not. at least went out and scheduled LSU right. right away. Where Michigan's playing Colorado School of the Mines, Hutchinson Community College, Western Oklahoma Southern Tech. Listen, yeah. you play who you play, and you if you I win, just, well, you win. I mean, I hate them. Usually the ACC does to get a pass because they have the fourth non-conference game, like a bunch of pansies. But Florida State, yeah, they, they go out and they schedule two Power Five teams in the process. So uh, I'll give credit where credit's due there. Oklahoma did their job. They beat Texas. Did they play anyone else tough? No. Well, I mean, they didn't struggle at do all. They, do they play – like they have a really, this or they have a cake schedule the rest of the way. Do they? Yeah, I can't remember. I looked it up on Saturday, but it's really cake. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, who. I mean the yeah, Big Twelve is bad this year. There's no, mm-hmm. there's no. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, well, Rook, I, did you I, hear him? Yeah, the Big Twelve is bad this year. I will admit when I am wrong, <laughs> which hasn't happened a whole lot this year, especially with Henrik Harburg or Jeff Sims. I've been right about that whole situation this whole time. You and. Tyler were both dead wrong week one saying LSU was going to clap cheeks. I was wrong about that. Yeah, I was wrong. Well, I, I was also, yeah, I mean, you can't you can't be right about a team that is just so, so bad. But you also can't sit there and give credit to a team that beat them when they are a bad team. So it's a two-way street there, pal. And I'll also say this, for yeah. Florida State, for me, it was like, I, I got to see it. Like, yeah, I know that they have a lot of talent. I know they beat up a bad Oklahoma team last year, but I got to see it, and I've seen it. It's different now. I guess, yeah. 
I'm just excited to see what unfolds at the end of the year. You guys are going to have to go into hiding if Florida State wins it all. And I'm going to have to go into hiding if they don't win it all. No, I'm I going mean, to Tallahassee. It's like I've been a Florida State fan my entire life. I mean, it'll be fun. But I mean, well, also just remember, just remember the, the one person on this panel who didn't have who hasn't had Florida State in their top ten all year. When you, when you oh yeah, like well he's just he doesn't know ball. Thank you.